Meghan enraged with madness as Princess Louise is given the title of princess by King Charles. The British royal family is always in the spotlight. Recently, Princess Louise got the title of princess from King Charles III. This has caused a stir, with Meghan Markle being very upset. People close to the palace say Meghan is furious. She's not just upset, she's angry. What's really happening behind the scenes? This is royal drama at its best. The royal title debate. A storm brewing beneath the surface. Titles in the royal family mean a lot. They show power and status. So, why is Princess Louise's promotion causing such a fuss? Every royal decision is watched closely. The title given to Princess Louise has raised many questions. It has also brought up old issues for Meghan and Harry. Princess Louise. Who is she? Princess Louise, also known as Lady Louise Windsor, is not well known. She's the daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh. She's lived a private life, but as she's grown older, she's started to take on more royal duties. Her new title of princess was a surprise to many. Before, she was just Lady Louise, the granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II. Her parents wanted to give her a normal life, away from the royal spotlight. But then came the title change. Why did King Charles decide to give Louise the title now? Is there a connection to the tensions between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family? A title for Louise, but not for Archie? The title debate has sparked controversy. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's son, Archie, was denied the title of prince. Meghan has said race might have played a part, leading to a famous interview with Oprah Winfrey. So, why did Princess Louise get a title, but not Archie? It seems like a symbolic move bringing up all the grievances Harry and Meghan have shared publicly. Meghan Markle's reaction, fuel to the fire. When Princess Louise got her title, Meghan was upset. She had already spoken out about the royal family's treatment of her child. The news must have been frustrating for her. Meghan Markle's public persona versus private reactions. Meghan is usually calm in public, but insiders say she's furious privately. Her frustrations have been growing since she left royal duties. This title might have been the final straw. What makes Meghan so angry about Princess Louise's title? Is it personal, or is it about her children's future in the royal family? We're exploring complex emotions here. Would you get angry if you felt your family was treated unfairly? Would you speak out or stay silent? This question makes the royal drama relatable, even though the stakes are much higher for Meghan and Harry. The royal rift, deepening divides. We've seen royal family conflicts before like Charles and Diana's. But the drama between Harry, Meghan, and the rest feels unique. It's public, intense, and shows no signs of ending soon. Princess Louise's new title has made things worse. Did King Charles know this would happen? Did he mean to upset the family by giving Louise a title? Or was it to honor a loyal and quiet member of the royal family? Royal hierarchy and public perception. Royal watchers talk about the family's hierarchy and titles. King Charles might have wanted to bring Louise into the spotlight. This could be a way to modernize the monarchy. But did this move push Harry and Meghan further away? It seems that way to some. Is this a plan to sideline the Sussexes and highlight other royals? The public's fascination with royal drama. Why we can't look away. There's something captivating about royal drama. Isn't there? The titles, traditions, and scandals make for a real life soap opera. Princess Louise's title might seem small, but it's a big deal in the royal world. We're drawn to these moments because they reflect our own family struggles. Haven't we all felt overlooked or treated unfairly? In that sense, the royals are more like us than we think. A relatable royal dilemma. This situation is intriguing because it's relatable, despite the royal setting. Think of family reactions when one member gets special treatment. Resentment can grow, even if it's not spoken. The emotions are the same, even if the stakes are different. That's why many are interested in the Meghan vs. royal family story. It feels like a family dispute on a global stage. The future. What's next for Meghan, Harry, and the royals? With Princess Louise's new title, the question is what's next for Meghan and Harry? Will this move make them more isolated from the family? Can they find a way to reconcile? Or is the divide too wide? The role of public opinion. Public opinion will be key in shaping the future. Meghan and Harry aim to be more independent, but they still need public support. The royal family, now led by King Charles, 
must balance tradition and modernity. How will the public react to Princess Louise's title in the long run? Conclusion A royal call to action. This chapter of royal drama is far from over. The rift between Meghan, Harry, and the royal family seems to grow with each new development. Princess Louise's title is just the latest twist in this ongoing story. But what about you, the reader? Are you hash team Meghan, feeling her frustration over the title issue? Or do you think the royals are just following tradition and trying to modernize? Share your thoughts and let's see where this royal soap opera goes next. The drama is too exciting to ignore. The Ripple Effect How Princess Louise's title impacts the royal family's image Every decision by the royal family has far-reaching effects. Princess Louise's new title is no exception. It will shape how the monarchy is seen by the public in the years ahead. The timing has sparked debates on favoritism, fairness, and the monarchy's adaptation to modern values. The royal family is seen as a symbol of stability. Yet, it faces intense scrutiny, mainly from younger generations. Every move is analyzed. Princess Louise's elevation is no exception. Modern monarchy versus tradition, a balancing act. King Charles III must balance tradition and modernity. He aims to be forward-thinking but also uphold the monarchy's traditions. This is challenging, given the public's demand for transparency and fairness. Granting Louise a princess title highlights this conflict. It could make the monarchy more relatable to younger people. Yet, it raises questions about fairness, like why Archie hasn't received a similar title. Is the monarchy adapting or just preserving its status quo? This struggle between tradition and progress affects more than the royal family. It mirrors broader debates on fairness and evolving values in a changing world. The Sussex's role? Outsiders looking in. Princess Louise's title affects Meghan and Harry's standing. Despite stepping back, they are still connected to the royal legacy. This title is a reminder of their ongoing ties to the monarchy. Harry and Meghan want independence and privacy. Yet, they are often pulled back into royal affairs. Every royal development reminds them of their incomplete departure. The emotional toll on Meghan and Harry. Being constantly in the spotlight must be exhausting. Even more so when it's about family issues that caused pain. For Meghan and Harry, this event likely brings up feelings of rejection and unfairness. Despite their strong public image, moments like this affect their mental health. They are still fighting to prove their value and defend their choices, even after stepping away. Every title decision feels like another chapter in their saga. Isn't this struggle relatable? Haven't we all felt misunderstood or left out of important decisions? Meghan and Harry's story resonates because it mirrors our own family tensions, magnified for the world to see. Could this be a strategic move by King Charles? This drama might feel personal, but it also has strategic implications. King Charles is aware of public perception. Could this be part of a plan to manage the monarchy's image? Strengthening the royal ranks. King Charles might give Louise the title of princess to strengthen the royal family. Many senior royals are aging or facing scandals. Louise has stayed clear of controversy and could help the family's image. By giving Louise a title, Charles aims to show the monarchy's depth. Louise's quiet grace and dedication make her a valuable asset. She could help the royal family in public efforts. Sending a subtle message? Could this decision be a message to Harry and Meghan? The timing, after their criticism, might be Charles's way to show the monarchy moves on. It's a reminder that those who step away from tradition are left behind. This move doesn't directly attack the Sussexes but doesn't ease tensions either. It shows Harry and Meghan are outside the circle of power and privilege that royal titles represent. Lessons from history, royals and their public conflicts. Royal family conflicts are common. The British monarchy has survived scandals and feuds, like King Edward VIII's abdication and Prince Charles and Princess Diana's marital troubles. They've adapted and thrived despite adversity. Public sympathy often goes to those seen as unfairly treated. Princess Diana was seen as a victim, and public support for her was strong. Harry and Meghan have gained fans by fighting for fairness and respect. Yet, the monarchy's strength lies in its ability to endure. Despite personal struggles, the institution adapts and survives. It remains relevant, even when individuals face public criticism. Can the royal family survive this latest rift? The monarchy's survival depends on evolving and keeping public support. King Charles must navigate family tensions while keeping the monarchy respected and relevant. The question is, can they survive this rift?